LFYs turn to ban. Dire team ban. LFYs turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. <laughs> Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Yeah. LFY's turn to pick. Stay right. Dire team pick. Winter Wyvern. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Bang. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. Ba 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 ba. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back again to the Perfect World Masters. It's our first series of day number two here in Group A, and it's going to be LGD Forever Young facing off against Vici Gaming. I'm Lyrical, joined as well by Lacoste. Lacoste, how you doing, my man? I'm good, buddy. Good, good day ahead of us. Some nice Dota, maybe even tiebreakers as well. It's going to be a long day. It is. It's going to be a very long day, but a lot of great Dota. That's one thing that's definitely been the saving grace of this tournament. Uh, you know, you can talk about delays, you can talk about some technical issues all you want, um, but at the end of the day, there's been some really solid matches, some exciting Dota to watch, and well, LGD Forever Young going for a Wyvern Death Prophet opening. Is DP feeling like it's a new, really strong hero to you? Yeah, it is. It's been uh, for a while. You need that uh, tower push, strong laner, can survive uh, those uh, early rotations with Spirit Siphon. I just love the hero. Uh, the reason why they banned AA, because they wanted to pick Wyvern. They had a first pick, a lot of heal. Same goes for Death Prophet. Can, so she can heal with the ultimate once it's finished. On the other side, we have Bane and Sanking. Uh, Bane, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you like this guy? Nah, I'm, I'm, you can join my um, train hate, I guess. I don't know. I don't, just don't feel the, the hero doesn't do anything once the laning stage is finished. I mean, I, I, we've seen occasionally Fiend scripts working quite well. I, I'm personally a big fan of Bane. Um, I think that he's just such a strong laner, and that's so important nowadays. Maybe it's not as important. We've been seeing some team fight uh, being more the game-deciding moments uh, later on. 
But I guess the other thing that we should mention real quickly before we get too far into the draft is that these are the top two teams of Group A right now. Vici Gaming have two owed so far, so they have six points. Meanwhile, LGD Forever Young was able to get one and then a trade-off of this series as well, so they have four points. So if LGD Forever Young win this, they take the top spot in the group if they're able to get a 2-0. Um, and Vici Gaming, I mean, it does matter a lot because, you know, towards those tiebreakers later on and uh, all the other stuff, it's going to end up uh, deciding who it is that they face later. So, important things on the horizon. Doom now taken as well. Another one of those China classics. Yeah, Doom as an offlaner kind of being more popular lately. Um, he's been nerfed a little bit because the creeps uh, spawn at the uh, 1 minute mark, not the uh, 0.30 seconds. So that, that hurts him a lot, actually. But still, strong laner. Can get uh, some easy farm catch up as well, even if it doesn't go well at the laning stage. I guess the other thing, though, is that he did get some buffs in the initial patch because uh, he, like, the creeps spawn later, but they also have better abilities now a little bit. Yeah, less cooldown, less mana cost. Pretty nifty. Clockwork taken for LGD Forever Young. So this is another one of those drafts that we might be seeing. It looks a little bit different from other ones because they're uh, interregional and they play each other a lot. That's something that we should probably keep in mind as well. Uh, so as far as like objectives from both teams, it feels like LGD Forever Young have a very clear way that they want to play this. Mm -hmm. Vici Gaming, it's more like just take team fights and kill you, I guess. Yeah, well, that profit, uh, Clockwork. Uh... I mean, Wyvern as well, a lot of team fight potential, big uh, altis, all of all three of them, especially on a DP. Uh, on the other side, you have Vici, who can pretty much uh, fight all the time. They're not uh, ulti dependent. Mm -hmm. well, we'll see what uh, they go for for the first, uh, for the fourth uh, pick, actually. So what they need is a safe laner and a mid now. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit of a... I guess, very open draft for which way they want to take it. Um, anything that squares up well against Death Prophet? Um, they might go for a Sniper, but uh, there's a Clockwork on the other side. I mean, Sniper is a natural uh, pike carrier, so they might go for that. Uh, usually when uh, people play DP, they either ban AA or a Sniper. He's pretty strong because he's not affected by a Spirit Siphon. Mm. DP can't really get close to him. That's one of the things. I mean, they can try to go for something like, uh, let's say, Invoker. Invoker, not the best laner against the DP, but they have a good setup with the Bane for a Sunstrike. Sanking as well can help the Doom to dominate the lane. Right. I mean, they, they might uh, just pick a, pick a safe laner now. They're taking their time with it, that's for sure. I'm sure he didn't, he didn't end up like dc or something. Well, Super did, but he's back again. Um... But yeah, 30 seconds down to the wire for trying to figure out what their answer is to this Death Prophet, and they're going to go for a Quap. Well, one of the heroes also that is not affected, so you want to have that hero that is, that is not affected by Spirit Siphon. If she uses it, you just blink away, and that's it. Also, uh, pretty good hero. That's actually a smart pick. Uh, is not affected by Clockwork. Mm. Can't really be ganked by Clockwork. Can just uh, blink away. So, Yeah. Now they end up going back for the tiny. So LGD Forever Young picking up this guy that's just been all over the place. We've been seeing him in almost every series, and Monet played it really well earlier. Yeah, I, I suppose it's going to be a safe lane tiny this game. It, it, it excels more as a safe lane hero. We see Mineski trying to play it as an offlane hero. I don't think the hero is meant to be played as an offlane. It can work, but uh, it doesn't feel that strong in the laning stage. Yeah, they saw, I think it was, was it Ice 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 who played it the other day? Um, and I think yeah. it ended up looking a little bit too greedy. Yeah, he played it yesterday in the last series as well. Yeah. How did it look there for them? It, it didn't look good. They, okay. they lost the game. Uh, he really couldn't do anything. After oh. the Shadow Blade, got some ganks going, but uh, that was pretty much it. it he didn't uh, contest the safe lane at all. Well, and when we saw the series the other day from LGD Forever Young, it was a Monet Tiny against Complexity that uh, kind of just went ham. It, it completely destroyed, and 
Doom against Tiny, like the status resistance later, it ends up just lasting like six seconds or something. Yeah, he's, not, he's not going to be using ulti on Tiny. No. He's, it's going to be either Winter Wyvern or Death Prophet. Okay. Well, last pick now for LGD Forever Young. Looking for an offlaner, unless they run the Wyvern offlane, which we have seen on occasion. I don't know really what they need at this point. It feels like they got their bases covered. Well, if they want to, they can go for a draw, maybe, or a Tide. Yeah, that, that's one of the things. So either put a Wyvern on an offlane or have that classic Tide Hunter. Mm -hmm. I mean, they love to, uh, Chinese teams love to play DP plus the Tide Hunter. Both are big ulti cooldowns, uh, but they play, play around those, don't take the fights, just go for the objectives. Well, this is going to be really interesting to watch because I feel like LGD Forever Young have three of the strongest heroes in the patch of their team. The DP, the Tiny, and the Tide Hunter. All of them have felt so strong at various points. And plus, nice little combo here. You don't need a Tiny Blink Dagger anymore, or a Blink Dagger on Tide Hunter anymore. You just toss them in, Ravage, easy peasy. Well, I, I don't think Tide Hunters buy Blink Dagger until like nah, super, sure. super late, maybe mid game. Uh, they usually just uh, tank up with a pipe with a. Mech Guardian Greaves. Right. Choose your hero. Uh, I really don't like that one. <laughs> God. Um, I mean, it's Paparazzi. He's a really good player. Maybe we're going to see a Slark go off, but what do you think? Not a big fan of Slark either. I mean, he's a good laner against uh, Tide Hunter, can steal a lot of uh, strength, does well in the laning stage. Well,. But well, maybe they, maybe, well, yeah, but may, I'm thinking maybe they picked uh, Slark because of Tiny. He has a lot of strength, so when you steal his strength, he well, does he steals not... Edgy, though, don't you? Oh, yeah, no, you steal, uh, you steal his primary attribute. Oh, right. So, uh, I mean, you steal pretty much everything from one, one, one of each from with hit. Okay. So he's going to steal uh, a lot of strength from Tiny. Okay. So he's not going to have that much status resistance. So maybe Doom will last longer. Just <laughs> yeah. No, but it's based. It's, it's, it's he still gets like the plus thirty or forty percent or whatever the silliness it is from Grow. I guess yeah, it, no matter what, it's not as bad as it was because like Craig Exterior is not going to stun him. I guess, but I don't know if they're going to be able to keep him in place long enough. And does the leash last? Is that going to get reduced as well? I'm assuming it is by status resistance. Yeah, it cannot be dispelled, but it can be reduced by status resistance. So, LFY lineup looks uh, more complex. They have a lot of uh, tower damage coming out from Tiny and the DP. They have strong lanes. I mean, uh, I don't know what Clockwork is going to do this game. He needs to find an, an opening on supports because he's not going to be able to kill a mid laner. So he's going to be just uh, trying to focus on a safe lane, kill the Tide Hunter, right. I, I suppose. Well, well, I mean, not the, the Tide Hunter, the Doom. Uh, he just get, gets the cogs. Oh, two wards at the same place. Uh -oh. They're being pinged out. Do they have a sentry ward? They Not should have Bane. I mean, I'm sure they'll be able to get it before too long. They can go pick one up with the first little bit of gold that they get. But Yeah, Tiny has one. Oh, God. He's going to be getting to level two so quickly. Uh, oh, it, did it miss? It, yeah, he missed. It's out of the range. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. Well, that is not a great start for LFY, but... The battle begins. Just Maybe. a casual sentry. <laughs> it's 100 gold thrown in the dumpster. That's fine. Um, all right. Well, and I, I have to mention that also for LFY, I'm not sure if I like the Afu clockwork. Uh, he's sort of a hero that's known for getting a lot done, or a player that's known for getting a lot done. And I feel like it's harder to do that on a clockwork. Uh, than it is something like an Earth Spirit. Well, I mean, it's the kind of a same hero. He needs to have a good start to be efficient. Right. He needs those levels. It's going to be a hard lane for Slark if uh, Clock decides to stick here. Yeah. Have another account switch, so I'm going to try and change around some settings again because they just hate me that much. And there we go. We're back at it. Rotation in Paparazzi. He does have Essence Shift early, so... Gonna be able Eight to pounce away from already. this burrow strike coming through. It's a hell of a lot of extra damage and paparazzi doing a lot. My god. Whoa. That's a lot of stacks from Essence Shift, but it doesn't last long. Only 15 seconds on level one. 
Yeah, they're going away already. You can see the effect that Anchor Smash has on him, reducing his ability to last hit there. But he's going to solve back up, and hopefully I need to be careful. Oh, building it oh, again. DP. I'll hold that for later. Yeah. Well, Tidehunter again, able to walk away. They went back in with the Clockwork. Lanham, he is taking some extra damage here. Doesn't have enough for a bro Strike. He's still just about nine mana away, and that might be a moment, but LFY, again, recognizing the limits of their hero, backing out. So they, they should be more careful right now. I mean, the Clock, when he hits level two with the Cogs, he's so much stronger. He's like two, three times stronger than he was on level one. Right. The Sanking and the Slark, not that much. Paparazzi is running out of the region. He only has two tangos left. That's going to be a big problem. God, he keeps on getting these stacks up so much and you can see just how rough all of this ends up being. Um, losing six of each attribute, but well, can't really do much afterwards with it. In the bottom lane, we haven't talked about this a lot. Young Eleven versus Monet one-on-one. -on -one. Feels like the tiny game a little bit better of the situation as DDC is just sort of trying to contest with Fenrir for here. But where do you think a lot of the action is going to be in this game? Well, mid lane, not too much action. Uh, maybe if they rotate on the side of Vici, but the uh, top lane definitely, especially since uh, Clock just wants to, to be there. Yeah. Well, it's working for oh. them. Oh, bottom lane. They're actually making a go on a Doom. Can they take him down? Three throw. Yes, first blood. Well Taken done. by DDC. Easy peasy, level two. And they make it work and, you know, back up top, that's not looking quite as good. Lanham actually doing a lot of damage here. He's going to have another Burrow Strike. This should be a kill as they're trying to get it in range. The Burrow goes away. The jump forward and the kill. Paparazzi now starting to turn on to Afu. Battery Assault, it's going to wear off now, but Paparazzi can't chase any further. Both offlaners dying. Yeah, Paparazzi brought more region. Mango and uh, a Flask as well. He's going to need to bring even more region to the lane. I mean, he's standing toe-to-toe -to, -toe to him, but Tidehunter, in spite of that death, is still winning in terms of CS. Well, it's a Tidehunter against the melee. Tide decided to go for no Kraken shell build. I guess that's huh. That's why he died as well. Gush, super aggressive build with the Clockwork. I guess they just wanted to have a more kill potential, but it's not paying off now. Because they couldn't find an opening. I mean, if they're able to deny out farm, is that okay enough, or is it's it's all it's, it's all right still? All right. I mean, he's farming. Uh, Slark needs to get more region. There it is, another flask, because he's not getting too much levels. He was sharing XP with the uh, Sanking, so he's not gonna get that level six uh, okay. fast. And Clockwork is leaving that top lane now as well. So him rotating down bottom with the invis in here, Young Eleven. Young Eleven they is spotted dead. this. Yeah, they should have. Well, anyways, it's going to end up being a kill. They find it. Monet stealing the kill with the tree. <laughs> Easy. Tiny is not an echo-friendly hero. <laughs> Definitely not. Mid lane, maybe a setup here, as they do have the wraparound coming onto Super. Level 5 for him. Three points in the Spirit Siphon. This is going to be a hard one to find a kill with, and I just walk away from him. Not happening. I don't know if they had enough damage, even if they try to go with the double Spirit Siphon. Queen of Pain is uh, still level 5. I don't think they could take her down. Well, top lane, maybe they can make this rotation work. It's still kind of a tough one to go on to this Tide Hunter and see if they can find the kill. As far as vision is concerned, the Tide doesn't realize they're over here yet. Paparazzi. And for it, it's a level 5 Tidehunter. He does have Kraken Shell now, as well as 3 points. Paparazzi needs to be careful. He's dropping down very low. Might end up dying if they could get another Anchor Smash onto him. We'll see if Paparazzi plays it a little bit too scary. Afu walking forward as well. They're turning this back around. They do throw out the Nightmare, but Lanham going to be forced to TP away. The rotation in from the Clockwork means he still dies. And a disastrous attempt here from Vici. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, Tide is level 5, Slark had no HP whatsoever. Nice play by Tidehunter there. He woke up Clockwork, so he can actually stop sanking Steepy. Yeah. LFY looking very, very good. 3 to 1 so far. It's a 1,000 gold lead, and all of the net worth here is just sort of looking like their course. With the exception of Queen of Pain. She's going to need to do a lot this game. Oh, another attempt. Clockwork, level 3. Cogs, oh, no. Fenrir. He's going to go down. 
Well, they do end up finding a return kill, at least. Afu ends up falling, and Ori, with the rotation, does have level 6. Blink is up if he wants to commit it, but needs to wait until DDC is on the other side. Blink's the wrong direction. DDC is going to get at least a bounty run after this. Actually, he thinks he can just escape without even needing to go for it. He does not have a shrine ready. Queen of Pain is not going to go for it. Wow. All right. Well, DDC manages to escape, and God, look at this again. Wait, what? He actually finds it. What? How Did he try to go for a rune snipe? Oh, no. Well, he bypassed the rune. Maybe he thought they didn't pick it. Well, Pretty that's some T-Tour action. But in the meantime, Tiny goes down bottom lane as well. Sonic Wave used. Yeah, there, there's no reason that Wyvern should have been there, I think. But Well, Slark has... Battle Fury queued up. What <laughs> up? <laughs> <laughs> well, the man it, needs huh? to get back into the game. I mean, there's no Iron Talon anymore, so he can't farm the jungle. Yeah, it's true. Ori trying to get away. Doesn't have enough mana for Blink now. Oh, no. Ori, is he going to end up going down? They don't fully commit super. Ends up dying to the tower. He could have killed Ori. Oh. So, some weird, weird plays so far, huh? <laughs> A little bit. Paparazzi needs six desperately. He keeps on ferrying out tangos at seven minutes into the game. He brought the uh, what one two sets of tangos and two flasks already. Yeah. My man needs a battle fury. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if he would have just been able to get a ring of health? But obviously, it's going to take a while. And uh, this guy's calling blade. It's it's jungle time. It's a poverty life for paparazzi. Yeah, this, this game feels super weird. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't, I, I don't remember seeing Slark with Battle Fury ever. Really? I think I've seen it a couple times. That's yeah, mainly in my pubs. But probably because uh, they got dumpstered. Yeah. No doubt. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's just running around game bounty runes, man. It's what, you got, it's what you gotta do. And now trying to find a kill onto Afu. It's a possibility. No, it's not. He can't. He can't do this. He's level five. Uh, he does pounce this, and well, with all those stick charges, they're turning to try and find this. They might actually be able to bring him down, but the rotation in for the Tide Hunter, he's just walking at him. He actually doesn't have Ravage skilled up yet. He turns it immediately, Dark Packed off, but he's still gonna die. Oh, paparazzi. I don't think Slark is a hero. Well, yeah, well not what he's doing this game. Yeah. Wait, he's trying to gank with uh, Slark level 5. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane. Young Eleven manages to take down Monet with the uh, rotation from Queen of Pain. Mm -hmm. This tiny... Uh, what? He died two times already. Oh man, Paparazzi, he might actually be in some trouble. They're, they're chasing him, he's blocked by his creeps! <gasps> oh. Paparazzi's in trouble for the past nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a rough one. Um, we kind of said that it was a, a tough Slark game in the laning stage against the Tide, but... I don't think we were expecting it to be this bad. I mean, he's not even level 6, almost 10 minutes in. Bottom lane, they're gonna kill Wyvern once again. Now, maybe they can get a deny here. Uh, as they do have the thing on him, but not able to quite find that one. Afu rotates in as well. There's the Avatos combo. Sonic Wave finds the finish onto Afu. But that's gonna be about the extent of it is. Oh, over here, Bane as well. He's able to sleep the DP and just walk away from her. I don't know about the uh, Slark, what they need to do. They need the uh, Doom to be active and uh, Queen of Pain. Plus Sanking. Uh, Sanking's getting a decent amount of farm. They need to buy him the Tome and give it to him. Somebody needs to buy the Tome for Slark. <laughs> <laughs> He's not level 6 yet. He's about to get it off this creep wave, but man... This is My rough. man is struggling. Just look at it. Like, he's... Mm. Not feeling great. How do you come back from this? Like, just get the Battle Fury? Is nah, he's not gonna go for Battle Fury. That's so shitty. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a Shadow Blade, I mean. Or... Oh, no. Try to go Paparazzi. for SMY. Oh, like they it. force him to the side. He's gonna be able to get away. He had level 6, so he does escape, but... It feels rough. <laughs> <laughs> This Tide Hunter is getting tankier. He's what 61 CS on a Tide Hunter. The second one is 46 on a DP. Yeah. 
Well, and you take a look at the net worth. He's a little bit behind because he died that one time, but his levels and everything else, they have all of LFY moving up to this top lane, and it looks like they're going to be able to probably find at least the tower and maybe even land him if they get lucky. He's just going to try and burrow strike and TP away. They have the ravage for him. Can they find him? Where's the... Oh, they yeah, they scan. got him. They got him. DDC walks over him, and Lanham just going to have to sort of accept his fate as they make their way in. God, that is some spite right there from LFY. A lot of commitment to kill that Sanking. I mean, uh, it's a good way uh, to just try to force them not to be able to fight for the next uh, couple of minutes, delay the Blink Dagger on a Sanking. I mean, Slark is already in a bad position. Yeah, that's true. And the Sand King Blink Dagger does feel like it's one of the ways in, but maybe the other way is down here in the bottom lane. If they can find the kill on a tiny, Paparazzi wants it so badly, but the Cold Embrace comes out. That just means he's going to get a lot of stacks up. They're able to throw the Doom now as well onto Afu, and Paparazzi is going to end up getting away, but they find the kill onto Young Eleven. And I might have spoken too soon, actually, as they continue the chase. Although, yeah, now, probably gain outside of vision. It's okay. But it's really not a word for Vici Gaming, the trades they're making. Yeah. Slark is on the top lane, trying to farm a little bit. I mean, he only has that one death from uh, from the Ravage usage, so it's not that bad, considering how the laning, laning stage went for him. Right. Uh, take, a, take a look at the Tiny. Oh, bottom lane, Tiny. Yeah, he's uh, about to go down. Uh -huh. Is there a heal from Winter Wyvern? There is also, he has an ulti. Yeah, they don't have... Uh Oh, never mind. They just Sonic Wave him right in the face. Good rotation in from Ori. They make it happen. And now DDC going to get Dove as well. They've got the Infernal Blade. Winter's Curse to try and turn it. But I don't know if that's going to be enough to save him. No as Ravage. does go down. Ravage not available, as you said. Another Infernal Blade to try and create that little bit of separation. The rotation in from Fenrir as well. Lanham's just going to get the TP away. Great play there. And all right. Vici Gaming fighting back now. They're leading in kills. That was a great play by Landon to get out of there, too. He's getting so close to his blink. Yeah, well, he's what, 800 gold away. Not too bad. Tidehunter with a pipe now. I, I wonder if he's going to go for uh, for a full pipe and then just uh, try to fight with clock and DP. Yeah, what is the way that you want to try and play this for LFY? Because you've really crippled the Slark. Um, but how do you take advantage of that? What's the what's the way that you think LFY want to play this game? They need to continue with the pressure, but we didn't see DP ultis yet so far. Mm -hmm. They need to take the tier 1 towers on the mid and on the bottom. Also no hooks from Clockwork. I mean, the only ones who can get hooked is Bane and uh, Doom. The other ones can just uh, go away, blink away, stun away. Mm -hmm. They do find the kill down bottom on Young Eleven, and now they're committing that DP ulti like you were saying. Uh, unfortunately, there's an Arcane Rune bottom, so they would have liked to be able to pick that up first, but not the end of the world. And... Well, tower gonna fall, Tier 1 going down, LFY looking to dominate the map a little bit. I don't know, Tiny has a Shadow Blade completed, I don't know what to feel about the Shadow Blade Tiny, because his move speed was removed from the Grow. That's a huge nerf, so I think the drums is the items to go oh, yeah. early game, just to have that extra movement speed, even SNY later on, just he has SNY. He, he needs a move speed item, that, that's the thing, because he's so slow, he's just uh, classic rock right now, just standing in a place. And I guess the plus side of it is that he might be able to find pickoffs more easily, but uh, we'll see if he's going to be able to keep it with Clark, but bottom lane battles a Bruin. They find the Doom now, and well, turning it back around. They are going to have a cold embrace if they want to, but Ori chases. They find the kill. Paparazzi is actually the one that gets on Super. That is huge. DDC falling now, and God, if they could find a kill here onto the Tidehunter, it would be immense, but I don't know if it's actually going to happen. Afu comes in to take the heat, and Paparazzi finds the finish. Another kill. Ori is there to complete it, and... Oh, no Ravage. They wish they had a Tiny there. Oh, they even have a Sentry Ward for oh, him. Oh no, Monet in trouble. Bro, strike through. They got him caught. They got him killed. Paparazzi finds another. He's back, maybe. Yeah, this fight could have been easily won for LFY if Tiny was there. He just picked up a Shadow Blade, tried to hunt in the enemy forest, and then Slark TP'd back to a lane, actually, to fight with the team. Tiny also had an Arcane Rune. That's the best rune you can get on a Tiny. 
Um, I mean, they were the rest of the team was trying to push a tier one tower, right. and he was not there. Yeah, which, which is pretty weird decision. Definitely, definitely frustrating. I'm sure. Monet, maybe regretting that moment. What was it? The shut up and watch me play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, no. Guys, I will gank Slark in a forest. <laughs> Right, well, well Slark is getting uh, really close to his Shadow Blade, though. Yeah, that one, much more common on the hero. Uh, is this going to be... Oh, well, we have, we have to hold that thought, because the smoke gank is coming down bottom. Paparazzi, I don't know if you're really going to be able to do much to this Tidehunter now. He wants to get him back for all the frustration that was caused earlier, but they have the silence already down. Does manage to get his ulti off, but the chase is there. The slow, do they have the anchor smash for the damage? Not quite in time, and Paparazzi... Able to get the jump away. Oh, Hook shot barely off the mark. That would have been big. Ooh. A lot of misplay from LFY. So yeah. far, they had an advantage. Now they blew it off. Oh. Well, the tower is starting to fall. And another DP ulti used. It does look like they're sort of going to push out the other lanes and just sort of avoid the fight for now. Let them take it. Fine. Silence on the Sand King, but he just is able to walk away. Could hit some on the retreat here if he wants to mess with them a little bit. But they have this nice ward up on the high ground. Just to get vision all over that area. Well, that's the thing for LFY. Tiny has a Shadow Blade, but uh, just continues to farm. Uh, DP ult is on cooldown. They can't really take a 5 on 5 fight without the DP ult. Ravage is ready. We still didn't see any good uh, Winter Vibrant. Curses, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, it felt like the Wyvern curse was right on top of the Ravage that last time. And uh, that's not a great way to, to combo those two together. Oh man, mid lane. Uh, they decide that they don't want to go into DP. Instead, the thought is go down bottom and maybe take down the Wyvern. In the meantime, Landon pushing out the creep wave. They are in the jungle still. Smoke going to wear off shortly, and they do still have eyes on this Titan. This is such a hard kill to get, but they do have Fiend Script available, and Doom as well. They're going to walk forward, drop it now down onto the Tide, and, well, he just explodes. Not as tanky as I thought he was. Afu going to be able to get the hook shot away. That keeps him alive. That's, That's one, of, of it. one of the ways to counter the Tidehunter. Doom, he can't really do anything. Yeah. Oh. I mean, they can still get uh, the Silver Edge on a Slark in the later stages. Slark, Slark is going to need a defensive item. He's going to Oh, go he for runs Echo Saber, but down here. he's going to need a BKB at one point. Just able to hunt away in the trees and find the Winter Wyvern. They knew that they were hiding in there to try and just push out the creep waves. Is Slark... I, I mean... I'm looking at this now, and this is a draft that we were really feeling like LFY had the advantage in. They have all these like great heroes, the Death Prophet, the Tidehunter. How is Vici Gaming playing around this so well? They're evading the 5-on-5 five five fights. I mean, there was a mistake by Tiny, just not trying to fight with a team, which uh, cost them a lot, gave Slark a lot of time to recover, to buy a Shadow Blade. Now he's on the run. Oh, nice play there, the toss into Cogs. No hook shot needed. They do have it off cooldown again, so they could go if they want to with Lanham and Ori off to the side, though. Epicenter available as well as a Sonic Wave. It's a lot of team fight. Very scary to go into, but it doesn't look like Vici want to take this fight yet. They, they have a problem with the Slark, who's going to split push, flesh farm. They don't have too much to lock him down. They have a silence, but if it's hard to initiate on a Slark. They need the Tiny to be on top of him. Right. Maybe they go for a Hex later or something, since it's undispellable now, as Bro Strike to turn it. They do get the toss, but Ori's still living through this one. That's Lanham walking away, was able to save his buddy before, and now Young Eleven jumps forward, gets the stun. Paparazzi here as well, Sonic Wave, they blow him up. Now down to half HP, they have the sleep, they have the grip onto the other. Can they chase, can they find some kills, some damage? They are almost able to bring down the DP, but they got the long duration stun on a Paparazzi. Super gets healed back up almost Whoa. immediately. My god! The heal coming up from Winter Wyvern and the exorcism just finished. Killed him up. That the was full crazy. HP. 
Uh, they have a sentry, but it's uh, deeper on the side of a uh, Vici gaming. Oh, and Ori and Paparazzi just gonna jump away from that one. I think Queen of Pain uh, committed too much for killing a Clockwork, who already used uh, the hook shot. Right. So if they had a Queen of Pain ulti there, they could just uh, blow up the DP. Good, good grip by Bane, though. Mm -hmm. The positioning. Also, another Winter Curse that was not on point. That didn't catch anyone. Yeah. Well, and what was it that ended up breaking the Fiend script? Because it felt like Super was able to get Ravage. the Will Scepter off. Oh, Ravage, of course. Yeah. Play that by Inflame. I'm gonna work. Ravage is so good right now. I mean, if you're standing in the center of uh, of a screen, it pretty much uh, catches everything. Just check the check the AOE. Where are you at, Tide Hunter? Come here. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty big. That's a big AOE. My goodness. Well, speaking of big problems, Paparazzi's just gonna head over there and said wants to farm out the creep wave. Easy peasy for him. So you said Echo Saber and then what? Basher or do you go BKB? BKB. He needs a BKB. Okay. Against Ravage, Suns from Tide, Silence, pretty much it. Hook shot in. Found himself Young Eleven. The sleep is there, trying to get out, but Monet's shown up as well as brought down a low HP. The Burrow Strike comes through though. Paparazzi down to very low HP, but he's stealing the stats from Monet and bringing him low. Almost dead, but there's going to be the Cornbreak. They have the Root as well. Paparazzi's gone. Double for Afu. Make it work, man. And that's no buyback. Three dead. Well, they surprised him with the Shadow Blade on Tiny. They just blew up uh, a Bane. The Atos DP too. Yeah, the it gives her tankiness. Just good, good overall item uh, for the stats and against the Queen of Pain and Slark. Once he uses uh, the Dark Pact, or I mean, Queen of Pain has a defensive item, the Old Scepter to remove it, but mm -hmm. uh, then she can just uh, use Silence after that and just lock her down. Yeah, the Roche is gonna go down. I guess they're gonna give it to a Tiny. Yeah. Monet picking it up. Time to play. Two tier two still up for Vici Gaming. Yeah, with uh, this Shadowblade build, uh, he decided to go for 125 Avalanche damage just for the extra burst. Huh? With okay. the Shadowblade, like usually, but depends how how you play it, Tiny. Like if you go drums S and Y, just the tank up, go with the team, push the towers, go all in with the strength, then then you go for HP, just be more more tanky. Right. Well, and now you're sort of in this position as well where uh, Monet can probably find kills on the Slark if Slark is showing in lane, but Slark's going to be hunting him as well. Bottom lane, they jump forward, try and find DDC. DDC just juking away in the trees here. And Winter's Curse to turn this one. With everybody else showing up, might be an opportunity. DDC is still living through this for the moment. Afu is going to able to come in with the cogs. They have the Fiends group the one to DP while they're dealing damage from Ori. Can they find the kill? They're going to have a Sonic Wave back up. They landed on the Super, but they do find the kill. Young Eleven chasing DDC does manage to take him down, but Quap lives through all of this. And Fenrir again with the sleep, making sure that Monet can't do all that much. Trying to blink wow. away, trying to burrow strike away. Paparazzi in the meantime found the kill onto the Tide Hunter. All because Tide Hunter didn't have a TP in his uh, inventory. I mean, and he was running, running there, and Slark actually found him. Managed to kill him. Wow! They, they just, once again, back and forth. Like in LFY, looked so dominant. And pretty much whoever engages has better engagement. Wins, wins the team fight. And good, good grips though by by Bane. Good positioning. Well, and again, that's a function of the Tide Hunter not being there. So uh, I'm, I'm struggling to figure out because when I, again, looking at the drafts, and that's one of the things that I feel like is going to be most interesting about this series is you have the very, like, meta picks across all the other ones that LFY is doing and Vici playing a little bit different uh, with some of their heroes, uh, mainly just that Slark. So do you think that this is a function of the draft or Vici just playing better? It's two mistakes, the Tiny not participating in that team fight with, at the bottom tier one push, so you can blame the movement mm -hmm. of a player or also Tide Hunter. Like you, you need to have a TP. Yeah. Always so. I was wondering if he ended up like getting it broken or something or like if it was just Oh he didn't get Dark Pack off in some trouble. They have the dust as well. He does have his ultimate gonna try and TP away Ravage. from it, but the Ravage just gets dropped and well at least they make him use the Ravage for that. Well so it means uh, they can't fight for another two and a half minutes without the Ravage. They can try to maybe take uh, 
tier 1 tower on a mid with a DP ulti, which is going to be ready in 6 seconds. Mm -hmm. They might commit to that, Slark is going to be out for 40 seconds. They, they can't really fight without the Slark though. Yeah. Ori has this invis rune here, and I'm wondering if he wants to try and find a pickoff with the Orchid. Yep, there it is. Jump forward, Sonic Wave, every dang thing, and that's going to be a kill. Ori goes down. Meanwhile, Young Eleven on the other side ends up falling. Quick combo, takes him down, and now Ori finding the Tide Hunter as well. Can't really do much there, though. Slark is out in 10 seconds. DP does not want to commit ulti to it. Mm. We'll see. Are they going to try and go high ground with it? Nah. They still have Aegis. I don't think they're going to go for a high ground. There's no tier 2 towers left, but they need to defend their tower, so okay. just play it safe. Yeah, land him cutting creep waves. He's been quite farmed on the Sand King uh, for a position 4 hero. Didn't see two three-man Buros strikes, no, no big ult is coming out from Sand King. He was there early on, a lot of... Uh, Participation in kills. Oh, they're gonna oh my god, they have a TD on Tiny. <gasps> but they can't quite find him in time. That's still so much freaking damage from the Tiny there. And unfortunately, no Blink Dagger means Paparazzi is going to live. Instead, they're trying to grip. They're trying to turn this. I don't know if you want to fight into a DD Tiny, but the Burrow Strike's already come through. They have been able to find him. Young Eleven looking for an opening. Blinks forward. They have the lift. They do have a Doom as well. Are they going to decide to use it on Monet? The toss back yet again. It's so hard to take this fight. They... End up getting off the DP ulti. They doom her afterwards. They still want to take this fight. Brought down low and is going to die. No DP ulti left. Ori still able to get the blink away. Vici Gaming just streaming forward. They've got Monet caught yet again. The dust is there. They're going to have another burrow strike in a second if they want to use it. Paparazzi down low but not dead yet. He can't find the anchor smash to get the finish. He's healing back up again because of his passive and now just trying to shadow blade away. They do hit the dust. Not going to be enough though. And now Inflame left alone. Going to get ran down. Although Monet comes back in, they toss forward on Olaf, he gets a blink away though! No. Oh my god, what a sick play there by the Doom! A Aegis is gone, uh, some clutch uh, silence is coming out from Queen of Pain, the Orchid on uh, Winter Vibran when he's about to cast uh, the Winter's Curse. Also just cancelled the whole fight. T Tide Ravage was not ready, it's, I mean that's the, that's the big deal for mm -hmm. a Tide Hunter. What, cooldown 150, that's two and a half minutes. Well, and, I mean, you look at the way that that fight went, and a lot of damage dealt. It just felt like they were sort of rolling forward this boulder of Vici Gaming lineup. And, I, I mean, dooming the DP after the ulti comes out, they still win the fight. They just wanted to have a damage, not being able to use the Silence and the Yule Scepter. Yeah. Yeah, it's the, the big one, the Yule Scepter, for sure. But, well... Final tally ends up being three kills going the way of Vici Gaming. It's only a thousand gold lead though. This one's feeling very close. Yeah, once uh, Clockwork gets a Spirit Vessel, it's gonna be so huge if he uses it on Slark or on a Doom while he's healing. He's not gonna be able to heal that much from the Scorched Earth it's or already Slark dead. from the Shadow Dance. Blink forward, chasing Gush. It's a lot of damage. There's the Silence. Not in time though, and push back with the Cogs to get the kill. Nicely timed. Clockwork Hook. Yeah, Spirit Vessel might be the big uh, game changer here. I mean, Paparazzi is going to have a BKB at one point, but still, he needs... How much of a change is it, the Spirit Vessel? Well, uh -oh. Doom is pretty much not regioning at all. Yeah. And the uh, Slark, he has a Lifesteal talent, plus the Shadow Dance. I was going to look at it, but... Yeah, it's... I, I guess... Uh, uh, how, much, how much regen mitigation is it, though? Uh, 75%. That's crazy. 70. Jeez. Well, BKB is there for the Slark now, as oh, you were mentioning. Such a scrub missing by 5%. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, get out of here, man. Um, Kraken Shell damage block could be good for the Tide Hunter. They go forward. Fenrir, the Doom is there on the DP, though, right at the start. The BKB has been popped as well. Now they're trying to chase. The Winter's Curse is trying to turn it. This is pretty decent, a way to try and turn it around, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. The BKB now wearing off the Inflame damage coming out onto him. Sonic Wave as well over all of them, but they're all living through this, actually. And Paparazzi trying to stand tall in this as BKB wears off now. Still doing a Ravage. Inflame. The Ravage is there. They get the stun. The turnaround on a Paparazzi is enough, it is! Double kill now for Monet. 
And at the end of the day, three dead from Vici, no buyback, and they have Exorcism working. Yeah, finally a good uh, ulti from Winter Wyvern. Um, just cancelling the fight, uh, buying uh, DP time to actually get away from the fight, not deal too much damage from the Doom. Uh, pipe popped by Tidehunter. Also, they try to go for a Winter Wyvern. Nice juke there in the trees with the Arc Burn. Oh. I mean, Queen of Pain bought back for this. They're, they're gonna lose two sets of Raxus. Uh, Slark does not have a buyback at the moment because he invested everything in a BKB, which he actually needed. Right. And now, like you said, two lanes of barracks, they wear off the exorcism, but it's still not enough. And I don't know, this is a huge comeback for LFY showing the strength of it. Look at that graph swing. Up and down, up and down. I'm feeling like it's going to be more up than down from this point forward. <laughs> Something changes drastically. But I guess that, to me, again, signals the problem that you kind of have with this Vici gaming draft. If you take a 5-on-5 fight, if everything goes the way that it should, LFY just are too big. Well, their ultis, look at their just three ultis. Ravage, yeah. DP, and uh, Winter's Curse. It's pretty impossible to Tide roll 5 just on took five. Yeah. Aeon Disc. What do you think about that? I think it's a shit item. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It's sort of weird, too, because he already has Kraken Shell, which dispels. I guess the only thing is that you're going to make it so you, your the damage is going to be reduced to zero for, what is it, 2.5 seconds? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, don't, <laughs> I just don't feel the item. It, it, it uh, looks better on the paper than it actually is in practice. Yeah. I guess the but status yeah, but resistance... It, but it's still... Yeah, it's, it's, uh, that's the best part of the item. Uh, right. Uh, but still, it's... Uh, Impossible to beat uh, the meteor hammer. How how silly the <laughs> item is. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's going to be interesting to watch because it's below eighty percent uh, damage that it ends up working. So it, it does feel like it's very possible to like accidentally proc it and then it's on cooldown for a hundred seconds. Yeah, I tweeted yesterday about uh, the situational usage of. Yeah. Uh, What's the situational meteor usage? Hammer. It's uh, when you lost the game, you gave up, uh, then you sell all your items and uh, just buy a meteor hammer. <laughs> That's I don't situation. see any other situation. Like, you, the, the item is not viable at all. Yeah. Oh, hookshot misses, but well, they tried to jump forward and steal. It's not going to happen. They have the Doom out, but Young Eleven is just gone. There, too big, too bad, and too powerful right now. Even with the Doom DP, they're going to walk forward, and Vici in trouble. Avalanche catches Tiny. It's a lot of damage, and that guy going to be gone. Mid lane again. Paparazzi tries to make anything happen at all. The epicenter's through as well. They can't even take down Afu. He gets a four staff away. They take down Lanham. The Ravage going to connect, going to kill. Double there, four dead, and GG called. Well, as expected at one point, uh, we talked about it uh, about the picks, uh, LFY's lineup seems so much stronger. The execution was not perfect, 